Hello, my fellow of the dawn viewers, my fellow of the dawn subscribers. How are you guys? I'm back. I know you guys miss me. I know my huge female audience miss me. They miss that huge orgasmic feeling that they would get from my prediction videos and me accurately predicting them. But we're here. We're back. We're talking about UFC 292. Sean O'Malley versus Aljamain Sterling. Let's start with the main card opener. And it's Marlon Vera. He's back. Ecuadorian. That's what I am. He's back against Pedro Munoz. Um, it's, to be honest, man, Pedro Munoz is taking this on short notice, but I don't see him as a guy that's going to gas out. He's never gassed out any of his fights. He's always prepared. He's always in shape. And he, he doesn't get finished. And that's what Marlon Vera does to every single one of his opponents. And he doesn't, he doesn't invest in really anything, man. He's not a guy that will invest in body shots and shit like that, like light kicks and stuff. And he just he just wants to find that one shot, man. And it's sad because I was so high on Marlon Vera at one point. I thought he was gonna become the champion, bro. I thought he was gonna be, I thought he was gonna beat Corey Sandhagen, and I thought he was gonna beat Aljamain Sterling. Cause really, that is a pretty hard matchup for Aljamain Sterling. Let's let's not lie. That's a pretty hard matchup. That's one of his top three. I, I'd say one of his top three hardest matchups. Peter Yan, fuck Peter Yan. We don't need him anymore. He doesn't. He's he's top five now. Damn, bro. I'm getting out of breath. Like, what the fuck? I'm talking OD. Did I even take one breath during that whole sentence? <sighs> All right. Who do I think is going to win that fight? Shit, bro. I got to say Marlon Vera because Pedro Munoz is taking this on a short notice on, I think, three weeks notice, to be honest. Yeah, it's got to be three weeks' notice. Not not a month's notice. Yeah, three weeks' notice. And that's sad. Aljamain, I mean, not Aljamain. Fucking Marlon Vera versus Cejudo would have been such a good fight. Um, I, Nah, it wouldn't have been a good fight. I think he would have got he would have ragdolled and then ho held on the ground. But I thought it would just been a good fight just to hope Marlon Vera wins. But I think Marlon Vera is going to win, to be honest. Pedro Munoz, he's old. He's... I don't think he's in his prime anymore, to be honest. And his last fight was against Chris Gutierrez. He did win that fight, man. He, oh, fuck, he looked good in that fight. Shit. I just want to see Marlon Vera. That's it. I just want to see Marlon Vera wins. That's all I want to say. Boom. Marlon Vera wins that fight. Fuck, what's the next fight? Shit. The next fight I remember is Ian Gary versus Neil Magny. Fuck, how did I fucking forget that shit? Fuck. How did I forget that fight? I literally just seen the fucking card before I mean this video. Whatever. Neil Magny versus Ian Gary. Who do I think wins that fight? Ian Gary, obviously, dude. It's such a perfect matchup for him. Uh, I'm, I'm fucking up, man. I'm, that's not even what I'm trying to say because I forgot the other fight on this card. How did I forget this shit? Not, there's no way. Oh, yeah. Batista versus um the man, the Mon Blackshear. Mm, that memory. Let's go. The Mon Blackshear versus Batista. Who knows these fighters, bro? I, I, I don't have any subscribers or like any viewers. You guys aren't going to know them. Unless you're a hardcore fan, whatever. I'm saying Batista wins because he's better. That's all I'm saying. That's how you can fucking get it. Um, yeah, Ian Gary versus Neil Magny. Ian Gary wins. I, I don't know if anybody that watches my videos really knows him, so I'm saying Ian Gary wins. All right. Next up to the title fights. Zhang Wei Li versus Amanda Lamosh. Not, yeah, Amanda Lamos. For some reason, Amanda Nunes, her Instagram, uh, name is amanda leos or something like that and i think that's portuguese for a lion and it's just like it messes me up i keep thinking thinking amanda leos is amanda lemos so i think it's amanda lemos's account but it's really uh, amanda nunez's you know what i mean all right dude i gotta fucking breathe when i'm talking like what the hell what's wrong with me yeah um amanda lemos versus john willie i think john willie's gonna win I, I was gonna pick amanda lemos but every time i think about it Amanda Lemos is uh, 35 years old, I'm pretty sure. And man, she's getting this fight. She's not really experienced, to be honest, to be 35 years old. I don't know how she makes her money. I mean, I guess getting uh, fights in America and then going back to Brazil, I guess you could live off that. You know, you get like 20K from UFC from your debut. You can you could live on that in Brazil. But whatever, that's not what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, I think John Willie is going to win. I think her wrestling is way better than Amanda Lemos's. She got taken down by Michelle Watterson. And John Willie really looks like the best wrestler in that strawweight division, to be honest. After that, you met Joanna and Jacek fight. I guess you could say I mean, Joanna and Jacek was off for about like two years. But she really did just ragdoll her. And it says something to, to ragdoll the person that had the best takedown defense in strawweight history. 
two or two years off or not. That's still pretty impressive. So I'm guess I'm saying Zhang Wei Li wins by just being better in everything, and then Amanda Lemos isn't gonna know what to do. And I do feel bad because always when I see those Brazilian families that are like in the favelas and shit and they're talking about their mothers just like still working and shit i just i do feel bad so i bet because i think about her getting the call of the title shot her getting mad excited she's like oh i'm gonna win and then like her whole watch her whole family watching her lose what she's been working for her whole life it's sad but whatever sean willie's winning um now i'm in, on to the main card who do i think is going to win aljamain sterling versus sean o'malley i think Sean O'Malley is going to win the second round by sp something spinning. Spinning, wheel kick, or side kick. Th I feel like I can give those two options because wh who's saying that? I know it's like you got to do one pick. Like, you got to do one move. You can't just be like, oh, I think he wins by left hook and a or an uppercut, you know? But I think he's going to do one of those, like, flashy flashy kicks. Not Side kick's not really flashy, but a spinning kick. But I was thinking about this. To be honest, this pick, I, I just want to be different, kind of be. Honest. But I do believe in it, so that's why I'm saying it. I, I won't say a pick that I don't believe in. I kind of just want to be different, to be honest. But yeah, I do believe in this pick because my reasonings are: Sean O'Malley really has been training for this fight for basically one year. Um, I bet. Uh, what is it? I bet when Marab was winning and shit. He was thinking, oh shit, I might have to fight Mirab, oh shit. But I am trained wrestling. But I bet that whole time, mainly he was thinking, okay, I'm going to fight Eljamain Sterling next. He's been preparing OD for that fight. And yeah, man, he's just, there's a different kind of speed with Eljamain Sterling. And Eljamain Sterling's striking is really fucking shit, man. It is really shit. Like, I watch it sometimes and I'm like, Jesus, man. Like, the footwork, just like everything. It's just, it's so wide stance, man. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't look right, to be honest. But he is a fucking champion. He is, if he wins this fight, he is the greatest bantamweight of all time. So, shh, fucking, who am I to tell? Who am I to say this shit, bro? But whatever. I think Sean O'Malley's gonna win in the second round by some kind of sp spinning wheel kick. That's how I say, spinning wheel kick or side kick. That's what I say. I think he's gonna piece him up. Aljamain's gonna, um, Aljamain's gonna get less and less confident. As he did in the Peter Yan fight. I don't think he's going to gas, man. I don't think he really can gas anymore. Unless he gets into the fifth round. And he's putting on a lot of pressure. Like he's he's wrestling O'Malley OD. And then O'Malley's still in there. Like That's how I see him gassing out. But I don't think O'Malley's going to be able to survive a five round, five round fight. To be honest. I think O'Malley I think O'Malley will gas out before Aljamain Sterling will gas out. Will gas out to be honest. Because I think he's going to be um, getting wrestled. And Aljamain Sterling has that wrestling cardio. I think he can wrestle for a five-round fight. I think he can be on you on top for a five-round fight and not be tired. But I think it's getting getting them to the ground that gets him tired, man. Because <laughs> against Peter Yan, he couldn't get him to the ground. And that's where he gassed out. But Aljamain Sterling versus Sean O'Malley. I think Sean O'Malley is going to win. To be honest, it's it's like 55%, 45% in my pick, to be honest. I, I, I do think Sean O'Malley is going to win, but... <sighs> shit man it's kind of i don't want to lose these picks but sean o'malley i'm picking sean o'malley if you made it this far no i just seen 9 11 this video is nine minutes long the average dawn and viewer the average dawn viewer will listen to it the whole way through let's go cool.